Welcome back everyone. This is Amy with Amy Astro. I'm hoping everyone is doing great out there today. This week we are going to talk about the world of cosmetic correction. And I'm not talking about fixing your lipstick or anything like that, but I'm talking about fixing those hot pixels, those dead pixels, those odd um, dead rows or columns that your camera sensor may have. And these are all natural imperfections to have in a camera sensor. But with cosmetic correction, we now have a way to fix it. So let's jump over to the computer and let's get it started. Alright, so I'm over here in Pixinsight and I thought I'd take a moment and show you what my Master Dark looks like. Let's get one open here. This is a five minute Master Dark file. And you can see it's got an awful lot of white specks in it. And these white dots are actually my hot pixels that are on my camera sensor. Now it does look like there is an awful lot of them, but this is completely normal and most of our cameras have these type of defects in them. It's just a natural fact of life for us with these cameras, you know, being as sensitive as they are. But overall, that's not a really bad master, master dark. Um, we do have some uh, amp glow that's notorious on these cameras, but all of this does calibrate out. And let me show you how to get this to calibrate out, okay? Let's, uh, let's take a look at my original image before we run it through cosmetic correction. This is the Rosette Nebula. It is a five minute sub, uh, hydrogen alpha. And on the surface, it does not look to be like a very bad image. But let's zoom in and now you can start seeing some of these little stray pixels that just don't seem like they really belong. Let's bring you over here to the corner here where there's no real nebulosity going on. And I'm going to create a preview window just to take a look. Now let's open that up and zoom into the window. And here we can see these bright spots that don't belong. Those are what we are aiming for to correct with cosmetic correction. So let's just jump right into it. Cosmetic correction can be found underneath process, image calibration, cosmetic correction. And it opens up this window right here. And the first thing you want to do is go add all of your image files that need to be cosmetically corrected. And I'm just going to run four through right now so it doesn't take too long processing. There we go. We'll open those up. And the next thing we're going to want to do is to put an output directory for these. Now remember in some previous videos we had a whole directory structure for you, but for today I'm just going to call this CC. And we will open that up. Okay. Now when I do my cosmetic correction, I like to use my master flat, my master dark to uh, help it out. And we'll go find that image, which was my five minute master dark and we'll put that in there. Now, we've already got an image open with the preview window, so this is what we're going to use as our guide. But if I didn't already have this open, I would select one of these images and double click on it and it will open for me. Okay? But now that I've got my preview open, let's go ahead and do a live view and let's watch what's going to happen. I'm going to enable my hot pixel threshold and I'm going to take the Sigma slider and take it down to the 3 to 4 range. But as I slide it, you should see those really bright pixels disappear. But also look at this real quantity. It is increasing. Those are the hot pixels it's finding. Now we know looking at my Master Dark, there are a lot more than 37. So we're going to bring it down considerably. Now we're up to 4,000. I believe there's more, but you can see that the pixels are starting to drop out. They're getting neutralized. Now let's bring it down a little bit more. 
until now you see I've got one pixel here that's not doing anything with it just happens sometimes but I'm pretty sure not 100% of my pixels are damaged let's bring this back up to the three range and see where it looks there you go I like that so we'll do before and we'll do after and that's what my image would look like after I ran the process now we've also got the cold pixel threshold and in the last couple of releases that they've had of this program they were having some issues with how this would look it would come out kind of mushy but I was noticing the other day that the upgrade that I just did uh, it seems to be much better and as I expected I've only got 13 pixels that are cold pixels and that's really that's about right so let's minimize this up just so we can see more on the screen now right now is when I would typically run things but let's use our imagination and say what if we had a bad column or row on this um, this image this is a defect that is always occurring <clears throat> It's always, let's say, right here in the picture. So let's zoom in. And it's just a, a white streak of hot pixels, dead pixels, that's annoying. <clears throat> and we want to get rid of it. A lot of times these are at the edges, but sometimes they're in the middle. And to handle that, we've got this option called the defect list. And I'm going to go ahead and activate that for you right now. Now I searched all my friends high and low and none of them seem to have this issue but if you do I'm going to briefly show you in theory how to fix it. Now let's say I had a bad row and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more so we can see individual pixels here and let's just say it's about right through here. If I click on a pixel notice that I've got this little crosshair with the X and Y axis and it gives me a value my X value is 3123 and my Y value is 3418. Right, and I come over here and it's saying that I'm on row 3148. Now I could choose a column. Let's change it to a column. And let's say the bad column starts about right here and it brings in the 3123. It brings it in automatically over here. So if I select this, that activates it. And I'm going to say, yes, that is where my defect column is. Right now, it's saying that my column is all the way across the image. And I will say, add defect. But what if my defect was just five little pixels here? So if I knew that my pixel started here at 3148, and I'm going to move down a few let's see I'll never remember where this is it's uh, 3148 it's at 3424 let's remember that number 3424 to 3427 I have those pixels that are bad so I'm gonna come here and say limit me to and I totally forgot those numbers let's just say it's 3124 through 3129. Let's say I had a five pixel column on here that was dead and needed to be taken care of. But if I can say this and at 3148 and I say add defect, it is going to give me a limiting range. It's going to say on this column of 3148 between these two sets of pixels, it's going to correct it for me. Now once you go through your camera sensor and fix all of these, you know, odd rows or columns, you can always save it. And when you save it, you're creating yourself a bad pixel map. And next time, you don't have to go through and come up with all of these numbers. It's a one time and that's it because your camera sensor is always going to have these bad sections on it. And next time you just load up that file and there it is ready to go. But all I would have to do now is say run and it would fix everything. Now I don't have any defects on this particular camera other than the random hot pixels. So I'm going to turn this off for right now and let's run this process and compare it with the previous version. 
There we go, it's all run. So I'm going to go back to my original. Okay. And I'm going to zoom in to this very top corner. And this is what it looks like before. All right, I'm going to go grab the brand new copy that we just fixed. This is image number one. Let's open it up and give it a stretch. And let's zoom into it. Let's minimize this out of my way a little bit. Bring me all the way up to this corner. Zoom in just a little bit more so the comparison's more equal. That looks about right. All right, so this is my before. Now I realize at this scale it is kind of subtle. So let's go ahead and zoom in a couple more times and see if we can see the difference here. Now before I had this pixel and this pixel, and let's say this one, that were just a little bit brighter. But you notice over here, that pixel, they are not showing up. So they have been cosmetically corrected. So it's just, you know, it's really not that bad, but it makes such a huge improvement to do this step. Now this is step two in your calibration process. The first thing you'll do is you'll calibrate your images against your master dark and flat and then the second step in the process will be cosmetic correction okay and be sure if you have a one-shot color camera do not do this step after you debear this has to be done prior to debearing so that's what I've got for you guys this week let me know if this format is good for you or is this added webcam just a little bit more distracting it's definitely interesting from this side. Uh, Quality-wise, it's not as good as my, my actual Canon camera that I normally shoot with. But if you guys like this type of video, please hit like below and don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate having all of you out there um, tuning in week by week. I appreciate it most definitely. Let's see. If, um, if there's a topic that you would like me to discuss in future videos, leave them in the comments below or follow me over there on Facebook as Amy Astro and I will do my best to create a video for you. If I don't know the answer, I will go out and find the answer or put you in touch with somebody who does know the answer. All right, so I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy out there. Uh, we're about six weeks or so staying at home now. I anticipate another week or two and then I'll be heading back to the office along with everybody else. But, you know, it's been an interesting ride so far and I've actually enjoyed staying at home. I'm not sure what my, uh, my two cats will do once I do decide to leave the house for any length of time because they have gotten really used to having us around. You guys stay safe stay well, and I am wishing you all some very clear skies. And until the next week, I am Amy Astro, and I will see y'all then. Love you guys. See y'all later. Goodbye.